let's go for a walk. So if you're in art school right now and you're struggling, um, you're in your major, but it's not clicking. Um, you're procrastinating. You have creative block. You don't have confidence in the work that you're churning out. Um, what other potential issues? You change work at the last minute all the time. Actually, you don't even change work at the last minute. You are constantly, dramatically changing work week to week. Essentially, you're being erratic and scattered and you're not grounded. Um, when you show up on those big critiques, you show something that no one in the class has seen or has any inkling of, which you know deep down is terrible. And you know that it's terrible because it has no process whatsoever. Um, you cannot change a project at the last possible minute in a dramatic 360 degree kind of move and have good work. Um, because there's no depth to the process, especially if the previous weeks were spent mired in creative block or indecision or whatever. It's one thing to have worked the process, quantity over quality, funnel of ideas and sketches and, and reading and research. You come to a point, you think you found it, you work for a couple weeks, you realize it's not right, it just doesn't feel right. And then you either get an insight or you look back at the research and kind of flip the switch and you go, oh man, there it is. And then you dramatically change it. But that even that's, it's only a dramatic change in that no one's seen it. It's not a dramatic change in that it's not coming from nowhere. It's like an alternate reality that just came to fruition rather quickly. So if any of that is familiar, you sort of struggle with that. Here's the issue. Here's what you need to deal with. Uh, first thing is, are you actually doing the assignments? Or do you think that you're doing them? Um, or do you run into projects and make assumptions about what that teacher is after um, or is hoping to get out of you or is hoping to get you into and those aren't accurate? If you're routinely struggling, you should look at that. On the other hand, if you do that sort of thing and the answer is something along the lines of, you're just not getting it. You're just not getting it while being like, nice sawing. You're just not getting it while being probably one of the most painful things that you could hear because it makes you seem like a moron. Is if you're like first semester junior and you hear that second semester sophomore, Thank your lucky stars, because you know what that means? It means you get to drop out, um, and that is a good thing. Uh, you get to drop out before you blow a ton of money in an environment not designed for you, because you're not just going to get it. You're just not getting it. When a teacher tells you you're just not getting it, what they're saying is like, I have a vision of this kind of work. You're not executing it. Um, or the department has a vision of this kind of work and you're not executing it. You're never gonna get there. At best, you're gonna completely compromise your identity until you're a pale imitation of whatever that vision is. And if the school you're at really sucks, or the people you're surrounded with really suck, they're gonna actually reward you for that sort of cowardly about face instead of, um, give it to you straight and be like, look, there's a thing we want from the people that go here and it should come somewhat naturally. And if it doesn't, you should get out of here. So you should drop out. And then you should fucking hang out at that art school all the time. Because the only reason to go to art school is for the people there. The whole, there's no other logic for going. Um, deadlines are helpful. So I should, I should take that back. Deadlines and assignments create accountability but if what you're getting is banging your head against the wall and unproductive and it's going shitty then that's not going to help anyway it's it's a moot point what's the point of deadlines if you can't meet the deadlines 
So, like, I, I think about this all the time. I was talking about it with Dan Black the other night. You know, like, for me, the best thing of going to art school was the connections, the friendships. Except that I am a weird, hermetic, antisocial dude. I don't keep in touch with anybody uh, except for Dan Black and my wife. Um, it's not because I don't like them. Like, I love people. I'm just not the kind of person that, like, stays in touch. You know, sorry, not sorry, right? So, even that, for me to be like, oh, yeah, my $62,000 worth of debt, you know, I, I got good friendships out of it. But that's, that's the fucking stupidest thing I could ever say. Because, like, I got good friendships out of it for three years. And then for the couple years after anyone hung around town or before I had kids and I like went to New York to visit my friends. Um, most people I went to school with, I haven't seen in 10 years. So the idea that going to school for the money or for friendships is a great idea, it's a terrible idea. But if it's true, just hang out at the art school all the time. Um, I know a number of people uh, who hung around MCAD all the time and you thought they were students. Um, because really the most important thing about art school is community. Um, and you can get that without going into debt, um, without people telling you, you don't get it without, uh, stupid advice about creative block. Okay. So if you're struggling, like, you know, I'm sitting here being like, well, don't immediately overnight drop out, but you can do everyone a lot of favors. Like, yeah, you're going to disappoint your parents or whatever. But uh, you can do yourself a lot of favors when you don't come out of art school with a hundred grand in debt and a mediocre portfolio um, and no discernible skills because you went to art school. This is an important thing to think about. Like if it's really about the community, you don't have to pay. Uh, if it's really about critical thinking, which I don't think it is at all, cool. Read some books, uh, YouTube. Like, you do not need to spend a hundred grand to, um, read fucking postmodern nonsense anyway. So, seriously, if you're struggling, you know, you can, you have these kind of two options. You can either figure out if you can dive in more thoroughly. And the example I think about is, uh, the painter Barry McGee, who went to grad school, is kind of a famous graffiti artist. And then he kept it a secret from his classmates and the reason he did that is because he wanted to pick up a different set of skills he didn't want to show his graffiti and make it better he wanted to learn a new set of skills and then filter it into his work if if you're going to stay in school and you're frustrated that might be the model raw technical skill and a different kind of approach but if the goal is to advance what you're doing your mission then you got to get the hell out of there um, uh, instead of doubling down on what's not working, um, instead of struggling, instead of having creative block and procrastination and feeling like shit all the time, you got to bounce. Um, 100% believe that. Frankly, I, I should have dropped out of art school the first semester of my junior year. 100%. Staying in art school was one of the dumbest things I ever did. Because I could have gotten the same thing by just hanging out with the people I met my sophomore year. Easy. All right. Thanks a lot for watching.